Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Uh, a couple of quick encouraging thoughts for you. At least I hope they're going to be encouraging. Um, I was walking my dog the other day and thinking of this passage in Matthew. It's Matthew 16, 18. Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now the fascinating thing about that passage is is that it's hell that's on the defense. Hell is on the defensive posture. And it's the church that's on the offense. Think about that for a second. Um, uh, gates don't storm anybody. I remember Pastor Lyon said one time, um, it is the church that's storming the gates of hell and the, and the gates of hell will not prevail. The, the language there is very powerful. And um, that that concept of a militant church that's storming the gates of hell and hell being on the defense while the church is on the offense taking ground in the name of Jesus, uh, that is a pretty big contrast from the church in America today. And, and, uh, and don't think I'm talking about somebody else. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about our church as well. Um, and, and this is what I mean. It's, it's not just that, you know, like going to an abortion clinic or or uh, marching in a, in a protest is storming the gates of hell. That, that could be. But it's more than that. I, I see so many Christians that are living their lives from a basis of fear. Uh, we make a lot of fear-based decisions. We're afraid of the world. We're afraid of the culture. Um, we're, we're, uh, we're almost like, er in some ways, erecting an evangelical fortress and trying to keep the quote-unquote bad guys out. But remember that it's the the bad guys that Jesus loves and wants to reach. We were bad guys. Uh, and then we were saved by the grace of God. And, and um, so the, the militant church is the church that is winning people to Christ. That's what it looks like to storm the gates of hell. And when the church of Jesus Christ is actually winning people with the gospel, winning hard people, people that, you know, we might think, oh, they're, they're, too, they're too far from the Lord. But when, when we see ourselves as missionaries in this culture, and when we see ourselves as people sent with good news, with, with the fragrance of Christ in this culture, and, and we believe in a powerful gospel, and we're willing to share that gospel anywhere, all the time, you know, on the bus or in our circle of friends, our neighbors, our family, um, our co-workers, when we become the fragrance of Christ, that is when hell is on the defensive and the church is on the offensive. When the people of God are released into the culture uh, to, to take jobs as teachers or media or politics and, and be light and salt. That's what hell's on the defensive. And, uh, and that's the kind of church I want to be part of. And I think that's kind of the kind of church that you want to be part of as well. Um, to, to be afraid of the culture, to be afraid of what's going on in the world, to be afraid of, uh, of you know, what's going on around us, be afraid of, of, of anything that undermines the Christianity of the New Testament. Let us be the bold people of, of Jesus Christ with a message of reconciliation to God that we really believe in and are willing to take to dark places. Uh, let us be a church that the gates of hell are afraid of. Hope that encourages you. Have a great day.